Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. It's laundry day, so I look very frumpy. Um, I do love this sweater, but just pair with the pants, it's just not doing it for me. There's a dog, that scared me, a dog in the next apartment just looking at me. Anyways, today's video, I just wanted to talk about slash rant about all this break into tech propaganda. Um, I talked about it a little bit in my tech propaganda video, uh, the rise of tech propaganda, but I feel like I didn't go hard enough. I feel like I didn't really get into the nitty gritty. Um, and I had a conversation today and I've had many conversations like the one I had today before, but somebody was like, you know, I just liked your videos because it felt like you always told the truth and were just really real about things and you really don't see that on the internet. Um, and I'm like, you know what? That's like the 10th time I've heard that in the past two weeks. So I'm gonna give it to y'all and I'm gonna tell y'all what's really up, okay? We are just, I'm, I'm gonna clear the air. I'm gonna clear the room. I'm gonna let you know what you need to know. But I'm gonna need you to subscribe so that I can keep making YouTube videos because it makes me sad when I post a video and it only gets like 100 views. And I know views don't matter, numbers don't matter, whatever. It matters to me, to me, okay? I just, I need that. This is, this is my passion. This is my life's work and I would like it to be seen before I die. Also, before we start, I wanna talk about my audio issues. I know there's a huge echo. I'm working on it. I don't wanna film in my rooms that have carpet. Actually, you know what, today I'm gonna to take the L and do that, but I'm ordering a new mic because the echo is disgusting. Every time y'all hear me breathe like that, it makes me want to throw up. So, um, I'm just getting a new audio system, but just bear with me until I get it. Okay, so welcome to my bedroom. It is a sacred place and I'm allowing you in it. Um, but you know, let's just let's just talk like we're friends, you know? Um, and let's talk about the first disgusting thing that I saw, which was somebody saying that a CS degree could be a disadvantage. I did not read, I did not pass go, I did not collect $200 because I don't even want to see that. I don't know what people are doing or why they're doing that. In what world would having a literal degree from an accredited university be a disadvantage? I don't know what these people are talking about. It's not the truth. I think something that you wanna consider when you are watching these people on the internet is when is the last time they went outside and touched grass, okay? A lot of people live in echo chambers on the internet. They go to work, they do their job, and that's all they know. And so their worldview is pretty limited. So just. Think about that when you're listening to these people. Never have I ever seen a job description say, no, if you have a CS degree, we won't hire you. Except if it's like an apprenticeship program or something like that, in which case it's literally made for people who don't have a background. So it makes sense that you are not allowed to have a CS degree. You already have that leg up, go get a job with your degree. Cause it's easier to get a job with a degree and everybody knows that. I just, that is just the most outlandish thing. That is just, that made me want to vomit, okay? And I, I feel like I've said that twice already in this video, but I'm telling you, it's sickening. It really is. And it feels like people doing a form of like reverse psychology maybe. <laughs> like are they trying to stop people from majoring in computer science so that less people have degrees and then it's harder to get a job because you don't have a degree but now somebody gave you that advice and that's why like it mm -mm, it's not sitting right with me if you want to go get your degree get your degree if you are learning how to code and you have the means to get a computer science degree i highly recommend doing that um i don't know if y'all have watched my boot camp videos um, in, in my video about all of that, but personally on this channel, I advocate for degrees for everybody who is able to get one. I understand there's a lot of, you know, back work that you need to be able to go to school to get a degree. But if you have a means to do so, I will always say, go and get that degree. Um, okay, next up is all of these people getting an offer letter and starting to sell a course. Stop buying the course and now a word from our sponsor <laughs> the sponsor is me the sponsor is me okay first of all i'm telling you not to buy people's courses but i want you to know that if you are studying for software engineering interviews you should buy the data structures card that me and my friend maya from maya loves code worked on together last summer we spent literally at least four months it might have been six building out these flashcards because they are something that both of us 
would have wanted when we were studying for our interviews to make studying easier on the go. They are, cover all the necessary data structures and algorithms. They are not cards that are really going to teach you in depth about these subjects, but they are cards that you can use to quiz yourself to make sure that you know what you need to know about them, okay? So there's the word from our sponsor. Make sure you go buy them, all right? Link is in the bio. All right, back to it. Everybody's selling their courses the day they get an offer letter. What's going on? What's happening? Like, I just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Um, you, don't really know what's going on here. I think it's perfect. I think it's amazing for people to talk about their experiences of going through the job search process and talk about what they've been doing to help themselves with their transition and like documenting online. I think that's great. I think that's amazing. But what value are you providing when you start selling a course? And the, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start a series buying those people courses so you don't have to. And we're gonna see, I'm gonna tell you how much these courses are truly worth. If you know a TikToker or even a newer YouTuber who is selling a course, leave it in the comments. I'm gonna buy it and we are gonna see, we're gonna rate them. And this is not going to be to drag people, like the creators, this is gonna be so y'all know what's worth paying for. Because I have looked through, I've, I've never bought one, but I've looked through the people that have a table of contents and everything in there is something that I have told people for free on my channel. And I know people will say, oh, well, it's a choice. You know, you could charge for it too. But the thing is, it's such base level information that you could literally get from anywhere. I don't see the purpose in charging for it. I don't see the purpose in paying for it. Um, no, no, no. It's just, if there were not so many free resources out in the world, maybe it'd be worth paying for. But I can't tell you in good faith that it's worth paying for those things. You're charging for an ebook that has 15 pages. You're charging $10 for it. Excuse me? Because I totally understand creators wanting to get paid for your work. I think it would be cool if these people did like a donation based kind of thing, you know? Donate at least a dollar to me. Do you know? Just no, just stop selling courses when you're only offering the most basic base level information that you got for free. And that's really the thing. People are making, people learned how to do this stuff for free by using creators like me and different people on TikTok, but then they turn around and go sell that same knowledge. It's just not right. Have y'all taken an ethics course? No, because you just skipped straight through. You just skipped straight through. You didn't even, you didn't even consider ethics, none of that. You just, you just went and got a bag. That's all you did. You know, like, come on, let's be better than that. Let's do better. I have a feeling this video is gonna be kind of long, but I don't, I don't care. It's a rant, that's the point. So let's talk about the toxic positivity of it all. Um, everything is not for everybody, all right? I'm not sorry for saying that. It is the truth. I love that we have this new culture of like inclusion and helping people that want to get into this space, get into it. Um, and I believe that everybody can work in the tech field, but I don't believe that everybody can do every job in the tech field. It's just, it's just not that. <laughs> it's just not the case. It's just not true. Um, for example, I think if I tried to do accounting, I wouldn't be too great at it. Maybe. I, actually, I, I think in my mind that I can do anything. And, and I think a lot of people are like that. But the truth is, while you can do something, you might not do it that well. And you might not do it well enough to do it professionally. Um, and that's okay. You can just do things to enjoy them. What happened to hobbies? What happened to that? What happened to just doing stuff because you liked doing it, you know? Um, but anyways, the toxic positivity of it all. So people get on camera, they get on their blogs, whatever it may be. They type out this post about how anybody can do it, X, Y, Z. They set you up for success within their realm. So like it might be a tutorial that you can easily follow, this, that, the other thing. But then you try it on your own and it just doesn't really work out for you. Um, those people, I think most of them mean well. I don't think anybody is telling you that you can do something when they don't really believe it, unless they're selling a course on that thing. <laughs> um, I, I think most people truly want to help. But sometimes it feels like people get to the point where, you know, they're telling that you can do this and you get to the point where you just feel like you're doing something wrong. Like you feel like it's you and it's really not, 
you probably is that, well, wait, it might be you. Like it might be that this is not for you or it might be that the ways that you are trying to learn this are just not working for you. You know, the course that was made by somebody who has only been in the field for six months, it just might not be the best course for you. You know what I'm saying? And so I just really wish that people would be more realistic with their positivity. Like I definitely encourage people all the time, right? If you come to me and you say, I'm a CS student, I'm doing an interview, blah, blah, blah. I'll be like, oh, you're gonna do amazing. Here you go. Here's some resources for you if you wanna look into it. I answer people's questions, all of it. But also there's sometimes people who come to me and ask me really base level questions and I, I would tell them like, no, you need to go do a little more. Like you need to push harder. Like this is not gonna cut it. I have no issue telling people that because I wanna be realistic with you. Like if you wanna be great, if you wanna be like the very best no one ever was, half assing is just not gonna work. Do you think Beyonce half asses her practices for her performances? No. Um, and so, yeah, I just wish people would be a little bit more realistic. I wish people wouldn't say that, you know, you can get a job within three months if you do X, Y, and Z. I wish people wouldn't do that. It's not realistic. It's not, <clears throat> it's not that the things that they are saying can't happen because most of the time, if there's somebody saying like, oh, you can get a job in three months is because they did that. But most of the time it's a special case. So like, just, be for real you know what i'm saying just be for real all right um but yeah i wanted to talk about people who say like oh yeah you can take three months learn this stuff and then get a job um clearly they've done it before and it worked out for them but the first thing that i always find of people who say they did something like they learned something within like three to six months and got a job is that they were not working during that time they were literally spending like eight hours a day or more studying that thing and that's how they accomplish learning that much. And part of me wants to say that that would work like if you did that exact thing, but the other part of me feels like you could learn a lot in, in three months if you spent eight hours a day working on it, but I also feel like you would have just learned it. If you haven't practiced it, practiced it, it won't be that helpful that you learn all of that stuff. And I don't know so I can't speak on it because I've never done it but it's just not realistic for most people like most people have to work while they're learning um that's just the way it is I have to work while I'm in grad school right if I could 100% focus on school and learning about data science and machine learning my life would probably look a little bit different but that's not the case um and so I don't really like that people are are and this has been a thing forever this is a new one TikTok but people are saying you can do XYZ in, in a few months um not realistic not realistic so the learning something in like three to six months and getting a job it one sets the expectation that you should know enough to get a job at that point personally I feel like you would know enough to know the basics at that point and like build on that build on those basics and do more I don't really think that you can learn something well enough in that amount of time to get like a high paying six figure job. I could be wrong. And then I know there's people that have done it, but I always look at those as special cases versus the norm. Um, but the other thing that that whole three to six month situation does, you're going to plateau quickly like that. Like if you, <laughs> only learn the basics you only learn enough to get the job it's going to be very hard for you to progress in the job because you are going to have to consistently keep building go back and dig deeper into those basics um so that you can stand a chance at progressing it honestly if you only have the, if you only have the basics it's going to be really hard for you to do well in that job in general um especially if you are working at like one of these one of these fancy companies where they give you a lot because they expect a lot from you it's gonna be hard for you to do well in that position you need to know more than the bare minimum okay again this channel right here we are winners over here we are you know 
we are people that give a damn we are people that want to know we're people that want to do and we're people that want to go further so if that's not you then you know you can go ahead and hop somewhere else okay but i am giving you the goods that you need to know to to try and be the best of what you can be i can't promise you that you'll be the best from these videos all right i can't but what i know is i'm very good at what i do i've been doing it for a while and i know that you need more than the bare minimum basics to get stuff done okay you you gotta you gotta wanna you gotta push yourself you have to be your own you have to be your own motivation all right and three to six months is gonna give you the basics you might find a place a role that's good for you but you cannot stop learning at that three to six months but maybe you're okay maybe you are okay just staying in that position in coasting that's perfectly fine but if you want to grow if you want to get to the next level you're gonna have to do more, but getting to that next level is gonna require you to know more than the basics, all right? So, so the three to six month thing, just honestly, toss it out the window. If you have no experience, you're gonna need more than that. You're gonna have to study more than that. You, you, you just do, that's the truth, all right? So I think that that is my rant for today. There was something else I was thinking of, but it's not in my head right now, and I'll probably just save it for another rant. Um, I did finish my first semester, I mean my first year at Berkeley. <laughs> I'm so happy. Um, I still am missing a grade for one of my classes, but I think it has to be in by Saturday. So I'll let y'all know how that goes. If you see me on my Instagram story with a lot of alcohol, things have either went very well or very terribly. No in between. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for waiting during the waiting periods when I'm not online. Um, like I said, if you follow me on TikTok, you'll kind of get the in-betweens. My camera's dying, so I'll just say, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!